<laughs> so I'm just walking down to the main area by the harder side and then I'm going to go and find the boat. It's called Emma Kate. My bookings were 11 but I've been driving around trying to park for a little while as is the case in Cornwall. So I came to the tourist office, which is just behind me, and I asked the lady, oh, does she know where the MK8 usually sails from? It's, a, it's for a fishing trip. And she advised me to go to the end of this, <laughs> let me get my words straight. <laughs> she advised me to go to the end of this car park, which is just here. So that's where I'm going now. I see some people waiting there, and she said that that could be for the fishing trip. So that's where I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so happy. You guys will not believe how happy I am. I've always wanted to go fishing. And this is it. My dreams are coming true. Just watch it pull in. <laughs> so even though it doesn't say Emma Kate, it says Prue Esther, it's actually the same company. So we're all going straight onto the boat to go fishing. You're going Let's fishing, go. Yeah. I am, yeah. Oh, yeah right. Emma Kate. Emma Kate, yes. that's it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lovely, thank you. Guys, I'm filming but I'm watching my step because obviously this is right there. <laughs> the sea is right there, so let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm being so careful, I'm sticking to the edge like no one's business. But this is what the base looks like. I should have changed my shoes before coming on. I will change them the second I get on the boat. I need to be careful, guys. Okay. We're off. Uh, just found a little, little seat to perch on. Look okay, out, thank you. We're about to go, we're heading out.
boat's rocking quite a lot. Okay, now it's steady. Great, time to fish. <laughs> Woo, it's rocking so badly. Shall we stand? Shall we stand next to mine? It's so badly. You will do, yeah. Yeah, you'll feel a bite in there. My catch, but they look beautiful. I am, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, look at this! It's a red gun, yeah. That looks so incredible. Wow. I got two mackerel. <laughs> Come on, I got two! <laughs> Thank you! Whoa! The babies though! They are babies, so you can drop them. Grow bigger, I'll see you next year. <laughs> We're moving the bait because I think someone's caught a really big fish. So the bait is just revving up a little bit and the other, the other guy is pulling it in. Oh, okay. Oh my god, the fish bit bit three hooks off. <gasps> Oh, I must have been big. That's awesome. Wow, that would have been amazing. Jesus, that would have been so good. Okay, I'm gonna go back in now. I'm going back in. <laughs> this is the view that we have. Everyone's on standby. We're holding our weights on standby, waiting to be able to drop our weights in there again. This is so relaxing. I understand why people fish now. It's very peaceful and it's exciting to see if you've got something on your hand. It's really nice. We're coming to a stop just on the other side of where we were and we're going fishing again. Okay, do you wanna maybe Here we are. Just drop it, <laughs> drop it in. Drop it in. Catch of the day. Yeah. Wow, they look so good. Love this. We're now sharing the catch of the day. That's perfect. Thank you. Lovely. Managed to get four. Hold on, I can't even uh, show you. It's yeah, so windy. There we are. Oh wow! Oh, so happy! Look at that! Look at that! Yes! <laughs>
think we're about to get off here. They said that we can just get off and walk off. I think there's a ladder that takes us right to the beachfront. So it's about a 10 minute walk back to Pat's Day. Mm, nice, let's see. So here we are, here we go, here we go. So this is how we're gonna get off. So interesting, let's go. Da, da, on land. So this is the situation here. I'll try not to film the kids. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed my fishing trip. I caught three mackerels. I've got them in my bag. I'm going to take them home. I'm going to, you know, gut them. I'm not going to fillet them. I might use them for stews. So, yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy. I'm just walking on the beach. I'm going to walk back to Pesto. Just calmly and coolly enjoying the day. I'm so happy that I went on this trip. I've always wanted to go fishing and this was my first experience fishing on the sea and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The first half an hour or so, it was a bit quiet. I was waiting for the fish. I was praising other people for catching fish. Hello. <laughs> I was praising other people for catching fish. And lo and behold, my turn came, I was able to catch the fish. And what I really learned was that patience gets you everywhere. Patience and peace gets you everywhere. I was so happy with being able to enjoy the experience, you know. It's not every day that you float on the sea. It's not every day that you go in a boat to fish. So being able to do that, I felt really happy. And I also learned that you have to praise people when they win because that keeps you lighthearted, that keeps you peaceful, that gives you, it gives you joy, you know, it keeps you happy. So I'm very happy. I'm just walking back. I'm going to have some kind of seafood dish when I get to Pasto and just enjoy the rest of the day. I'm, <laughs> I'm so elated. I'm so happy. <laughs> Taking my shoes off. And I'm going to dip a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> cold, 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 cold. <laughs> wow, that's so cold. Wow, this feels so blissful. This is life, you know. This is life. This is what happiness is about. This is the thing that you will miss just on your deathbed, not having experienced this life not having enjoyed you know this is what I'll miss this is what I'll look back on and think yes I truly lived I truly got to experience that I got to experience going fishing I got to experience walking on the beach walking over seaweed walking and clearing my feet from the sand in the sea this is it this is life uh, I love it 